Hi, in this tutorial, we will take a look at the Stripe subscription payments add-on, which when used alongside the Stripe payments plugin, allows you to collect ongoing subscription payments from your customers. Just like all Stripe payments plugin transactions, the subscription payments will be handled by the Stripe payment gateway. Before we proceed, to be able to complete this tutorial, ensure you have the Stripe payments plugin and the Stripe subscription payments add-on installed and activated on your WordPress website. Let's head to our WordPress dashboard to take a look at the setup required to offer your customers a subscription product similar to the one we have created shown on the screen. Once you arrive in your WordPress dashboard, you'll need to make sure you have that Stripe Payments plugin and the Stripe subscription payments add-on installed and activated. Once you've done that, you'll see the Stripe Payments menu here and you'll see the Subscription Plans and Subscriptions menu beneath that. Before we move on to talk about the subscriptions, we'll need to first look at our Stripe Payments Settings menu in the General Settings tab to ensure that we have already pasted in our credentials. We've touched on this in a previous tutorial about the Stripe Payments plugin, but to then branch out and use the subscription add-on, you will need this information already pasted in here. So add your live Stripe publishable key, your live Stripe secret key, your test Stripe publishable key, and your, Stripe, and your test Stripe secret key in there, and click the Save Changes button before moving on. Once you've done that, we'll scroll up and we're going to click on that Subscriptions tab now to configure what we need to for a subscription payment using the Stripe platform. So it's here we'll need to create our live webhook and our test webhook. If you'd just be completing test transactions for now, you can just create your test webhook and then come back at a later stage and create your live webhook. So the, this add-on does all the hard work for you now and you just click these two buttons to create your webhook, whereas previously that information would need to have been gotten from your Stripe account and pasted in manually. So now it's a very automated system where we just click these buttons and the webhooks are created for you in your Stripe account and connected to this add-on. So I'll go ahead and I'll click those two buttons and then I'm going to save my changes here. So just make sure that you do the same. Once I've clicked those two buttons, you'll see that I've gotten both my test and my live webhooks and I've gone ahead and I've saved those changes ready to move on. So our next step will be creating a subscription plan followed by creating a product where we add our subscription plan in. Then we can simply offer that to customers. So it could be a membership, it could be a magazine subscription, which I'm going to run through in just a minute. I'll now go and I'll click on that subscription plans menu to create our first subscription plan. So once you've clicked on that, you'll see subscription plans and you'll see add new plan. You'll need to click on that button to add our new plan. And then all your plans that you've created will just be on this subscription plans page. So you can see I've created a number of plans previously, but we'll create a fresh and new one so I can show you how you can do that on your own website. From there, you'll see the add new plan page. You can give your plan a title, choose the amount that would be charged per billing. So if I wanna charge 9.95 per billing cycle, I can put that. I need to choose my currency from the drop down menu. I need to add a setup fee if there is one. So if I wanna add a $2 setup fee just for admin, I can add that in there. My billing interval is how many times in that set period they will be billed. So I'll be charging once per month. So I'll just be doing a magazine subscription for the purpose of this tutorial. So I've got my title, magazine subscription. I've got the amount they'll be billed and they'll be billed once per month and the duration 12 months. So that's all right there. I can also add a trial period if I wish to, but for this basic example, I'll just be having just a set fee. They'll be charged once per month at $9.95 US dollars. They'll have a setup fee of $2 initially. So that's just a one-time payment at the start that they'll need to pay. And then in my mode, if you're going to run a live subscription, you need to click that live. 
If it's just going to be a test one, just so that you can get an understanding, just click test. But just know you cannot change this. So if you're just going to do a test, this can be your test product, but then you'll need to come back and create a live product to then go live with it. So once I'm happy with my plan, I'll click the create plan button. So I can see that my plan's created and if I click back on that subscription plans menu, my plan will just show up there. So I can see all the details about that plan just from this page, just at a glance, but I can click the edit button to go and view that in more details. So now I'm happy I've got my subscription plan there. I know it's $9.95 a month, each month for 12 months. I can go and I can add this to a product that I create. It's also good here because you can see the total that you'll get from a customer who signs up and continues to pay for this plan for the duration. So let's go now to our add new product, create a product and add that subscription to that product. So I'll click on that add new product button. Here I can give my product a title. I can write some details about what this product is. So there's a lot of space in that description section there where you can really add a lot of details about your product to hopefully sell that product and have a couple of people subscribe. So if we scroll down, it's here in the price and currency that will add our subscription to that product. So you click on that little subscription and then you've got to choose your plan. So mine's the magazine subscription. It's just a test plan for now. If I want to go live with it, I'll just go back to that subscription plans and create the same plan, but in a live mode. Then I can go down, I can edit the quantity and stock of those plans. Although for now, I'm just leaving this all as is. I can add my download URL for the magazines. I'll add a, just a simple product thumbnail just to show you how that all works. We'll add that in. I can choose to collect the address. I can add shipping, tax. I can add a specific thank you page of my choosing if I wish to, but I might just alter the button text while we're here. I'll just say subscribe today. And I can add all the other things in there. I'll just keep it basic for now. So let's go ahead and let's publish out that product that's connected to the subscription. So I've published out my product and I've got the short code here if I want to add that to a page. And I can also add fancy equals one into that short code to make it that nice fancy little box with the button. So if I just view that magazine subscription page, you'll be able to see there that someone could come to this page if you've added it, say, to your menu, maybe you add it to your WordPress menu at the top there, that page, and then they can subscribe to your product. So mine's the basic magazine subscription. They can read about it. They can see that it's going to charge $9.95 per month for 12 months. They can see that it's got a $2 setup fee, so that's just a one-time setup fee. And then if they're happy with that, they can click on that subscription button, which I've altered the text to say subscribe today. You can choose what you'd like it to say. They can click there, they'll be directed to that Stripe pop-up where they can enter their details and subscribe. So let's go ahead, I'll just do a test. They can add a coupon code there if you've enabled that. And then they'll just need to enter a name and email, add their billing information if you've required that. And then they'll need to enter their credit card information and click the pay button. So that first one will include that setup fee. And then from then on, they'll just be charged from their credit card in the billing intervals that you've set up. So mine was once per month. So once they pay this in one month's time, they'll be charged again from their credit card automatically. So I'll quickly fill in that so you can see what happens. If you'd like to test on your own website, 4-2 repeater, an expiry date in the future, and 1-2-3 as a CV will work just fine. They can click that pay button, which will then process the payment with the Stripe payment gateway, and they'll be directed to your thank you page. So there, they've been directed to the checkout results thank you page, and they can see the price that they've paid there. And then from here on, they'll be automatically charged. So you might like to send them to a thank you page that you've set up yourself, 
um, that explains how they'll be charged, how they can exit that subscription, all those sort of things. You can add that on that page yourself. So now I've basically run through the setup required for the Stripe subscription payments add-on. I've run through how to set up a subscription plan. I've run through how to create a basic product and attach that subscription plan. I've run through how a customer can easily check out with that subscription product. And now let's take a look at what happens once someone has purchased a subscription on your website. So I've completed that transaction as if I was a customer. Now, if I'm the administrator of this website, I can head to my dashboard and I can see that subscription by clicking on the subscriptions menu found under Stripe Payments. Here I can see the date that that subscription was purchased, the time, and I can see the customer's email and I can see whether the subscription is an active subscription or if it has ended. So that's all nicely highlighted from this subscription page. You can see that all at a glance. If I want to view further details about that specific subscription, that customer's subscription, I can click the View Details button. It's from here that I can see all the details. I can see the number of payments that they have currently made. And it's here that I can also cancel their subscription. I can send them a cancellation URL and if they need to update their credit card, we can simply update that by sending this to our customers. So that pretty much wraps up this tutorial on the Stripe subscription payments add-on. If you have any further questions or queries, don't hesitate to contact us.